Hey everybody, Ryan here, or Aminar Productions, and welcome to what I have been calling Mega Hall. And I think that's a pretty appropriate name for what this is, which is my biggest Lego haul ever. And it's ironic because literally a month or two ago, I did my biggest Lego haul ever, but uh, it has been surpassed by a wide margin, I believe, here. So very excited about this one, guys. If you do enjoy the haul video, give it a like. This will be my last haul for quite a while until the Lego Star Wars Summer 2020 sets come out because if you haven't seen the video, you should totally check it out. I am not buying Lego for the next two months. So this is it. This will uh, hold me over for a while. And a lot of the stuff you actually see in this haul, you may not see on the channel again for years. It just happens like that where I buy these things, where I have these videos in mind, but sometimes they just don't come to fruition for much longer down the line. So if you ask me, when are you going to build this? When are you going to build that? The honest answer to a lot of it is, I don't know. So this is Mega Hall. All I care about is Mega Desk. That is all I care about. Getting more Mega Desk. We're going to start with that lonely box down there that didn't really fit on the table. All right, first box up. This is the first thing I have ever bought from Mercari, and that is an app that's very much like eBay. However, as far as I can tell, there are no auctions. I'm gonna put an affiliate affiliate link down below. It had a thing on there, it was like, share this with your friends, they get $10 off their first order and you get a $10 credit. So if you guys are interested in using the app and you've never used it before, you might be able to find some good Lego deals on there. It's much like eBay, just search newest and uh, see what you can find. But let me show you what I was able to find on there. And uh, again, very good experience for my first time ever buying on that app. And let's have a look at what is contained contained inside of this big beautiful box a lot of bubble wrap and stuff but obviously the main thing we need oh he sent me free stuff oh my god this is an even better experience than i thought i could never imagine this happening uh, on ebay he sent me a disney minifigure very cute very nice addition to uh, the collection and then even better something i don't have the hidden side set the newberry juice bar what a guy. Damn, Mercari coming in clutch, bro. That's wild. But yes, obviously the main thing that I bought was the uh, Fire Nason ship. And that is a beautiful looking box. Very excited uh, to get this one and finally build it. Wow, what a guy. I can't believe he sent me free stuff. I was not uh, ready for that. So you can check out my review on this set. It'll actually be out before this haul video. But yeah, let's open up the rest of the boxes because we have a lot more stuff. First package we're opening up is a shirt from Teespring. And you can actually buy this if you guys want one of these. Uh, it'll be down below in the, the merch shelf or whatever it is that YouTube calls it. This is my 75280 shirt celebrating the 501st battle pack. So kind of like small clean text on there. And I'm actually going to wear this for the rest of the haul video. So we're going to start with a rather small package here first. And we're going to get this opened up. Uh, this one I think I bought from Mercari. And the reason I bought it from Mercari is because it was the only place I could find this thing. And in here is something I actually already had that I didn't really need, and that is this here uh, chrome or golden uh, Lego Star Wars Force Awakens game cover. I don't need another one of these, but I did get it. I might give that to Corey. Uh, it also came with this poly bag of Finn. Again, don't need it, probably gonna give it to Corey, but it did come with some really awesome, oh, no, wait, I don't need those either. Might give them to Corey. However, the thing that I needed and wanted and had to get out of this was a Lego Star Wars lanyard. Really wanted to get that. Next up, we should have a battle pack here. Let's get our knife. They shipped it in a brown uh, paper. Like, it didn't, didn't, it's not in a box. So I'm actually really prepared for this to be in a really poor shape. However, it was a good deal, but that's still no excuse for a... Uh, Bad packing materials, I guess. It kind of is gonna suck. I'm sure this, it doesn't feel like this thing got beat up, but you know, you can never tell until you actually see it. It could be in just terrible shape when we actually get into here. Oh, thank God they actually put it in a box. Okay, they, well, they, 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 uh, okay. Whew, I was ready to be disappointed, I'll tell you that. Cheerios! Yay! We got some Cheerios! And in there will be our Rebel Battle Pack. So thank goodness it was not uh, as bad as I had thought. Interestingly enough, Lego put tape. That is Lego factory tape there on the box. That is very peculiar. You don't see that on a box that has a thumb tab, like, ever. Very odd, but yeah, this will be one that I'll review at some point or uh, another. I, I need to get every battle pack sealed first. So 
add that Cheerios out of the way. Next box here, not exactly sure what this is. Got the mailing thing out of the way, but moment of truth here, it's a giant poly bag. These Brickmaster poly bags are big, big boys. And just to give you guys an example, like the Finn poly bag is about the size, maybe a little smaller than what you see for like in-store poly bags. This thing is huge. How about the Battle Pack box? I mean, it's a big old poly bag, but this one, somewhere around 25 bucks, not a bad addition to the collection, and it was super cheap, so I had to pick it up, you know. And that's where a lot of this stuff in this haul comes from, was just super, this is another one that's actually super cheap that was a 50 bucks sealed in box. And this one, less so than the Rebel one, I have trust in. They shipped it in a black bag, saying just do it. So that's great. This is not uh, gonna be in the same condition it was when uh, I saw the picture of it, obviously. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. It was 50 bucks sealed in box, which I guess isn't a, a bad deal ultimately, but damn, this thing, I mean, you look at that. It it got beat up in that, that mail bag. So I guess at this point, it's a lost cause to wanna save it. I'll probably just open it at some point, but. Uh... Yeah, that's another one. This next box here is from Mike. He sent me this. This one obviously didn't cost me anything, but thank you very much, Mike. This is going to be something pretty cool, I think. Not something that's uh, particularly easy to get in America. So he found these, I think, on some website, and he's just like, yo, it doesn't look like something Ryan has, and he sent it to me. So that was really kind of him. <laughs> oh, no. So, within the bag here, we got a bunch of bubbles, of course, get those all out of the way. Um, Mike sent me some toilet paper. Oh, man. Wow, dude. Thank you, Mike. Gotta love the, the toilet paper. That's an instant classic there. And then, also within is the, the stuff that he said he didn't think I had. I do not have these. I have not seen these in America at all. They are very hard to come by here, but they are some like books with poly bags. Obviously I have the poly bag, but I'm going to keep these sealed. These are, these are things I'm just going to keep for like personal collection. I don't have a reason to really open them, but damn, these are cool to have. Definitely, like I said, something you don't see in America very often, if ever. I am very tempted to open it though, because like I said, that is a nice no notebook. I'll be honest, but yeah, those three, uh, very hard to find in America. And I think that is everything Mike sent. So thank you, Mike. This box here was ingeniously put together. It's actually shipped as one, but it's two boxes. So you can see all the tape kind of holding everything together there. Really genius way to do it. We're gonna go ahead and cut that up though so that we can uh, have them separate, of course, so that we can open one box at a time. Box one here, let's open her up and see what's inside. Brown paper. All right, so box one was simply the Droid Tri-Fighter from 2005, another sealed 2005 set for my collection. 15 bucks originally. I think I paid a little over 40 or something for it, so pretty good deal there. The Pirates of the Caribbean Cannibal Escape. Very cool set. Obviously love Pirates of the Caribbean, so I think this is my third Pirates set now. I'm getting there. You know, there's like 14 or so of them, so that's a slowly growing collection of Pirates of the Caribbean sets. Other box here, this one I think comes from Canada, eh? And this one is something that they just remade for summer 2020 or that comes out on June 21st, I believe. But this is the old version of it, the Avengers Tower. What a beautiful looking set and one that I am very excited to build. I think I'm gonna do a live build of this at some point and I do need to get it done before that June 21st date so I can do a comparison and such. So Avengers Tower 2000 and 15, I believe. You know what? This one I'm not gonna put in this haul video. This one I'm gonna save for something else and you'll see what video it is. Let's just sum it up in one word. Ryan. This little box here has another Brickmaster poly bag. Same vein as the uh, Venator we just opened. Very large poly bag, the at, -AT here. So another one towards the Lego Star Wars collection there. Brickmaster, of course, a bygone era for Lego Star Wars in a lot of ways, but still a cool set to have here. And we're about to get to the really large boxes. We just have, I think, one more here of like these medium sized uh, boxes before we just go ham with some very, very uh, large sets, to be honest, that I was not expecting really to be buying at this time, but you know, deals presented themselves and other things happen and you know, you just end up buying some big things. So this one, oh yeah. And here we have the 2009 San Diego Comic Con exclusive, sponsored by Brickmaster. <laughs> we just talked about Brickmaster, uh, Lego Star Wars set. And I don't think this one has any seals. So I'm actually gonna open this and show you what's inside, much like the 2008 uh, San Diego Comic Con. So you can see there's no tape seals and there were no tape seals. Not like the person removed them. They just 
did not exist uh, on these sets for one reason or another. And inside, you actually got an ATTE Brickmaster poly bag. There's some better lighting. And there was also the Republic Dropship Brickmaster uh, mini build there. So that's what was kind of included in this. And obviously very expensive because of the box more than anything but very awesome to finally own that, and that'll go to my uh, very cool, rare, old type collection that I've got going with that stuff. This one says, Fragile. So I bought two things, actually, in this box, and one I bought, like, two days prior, and it turns out they were both from the same seller, so the seller put them both in the same box, and it's quite a box. And I got a killer deal on this 2013 ATTE sealed. The box is kind of damaged, but I mean, so is the one that I also own. And what I'll say about this is this is something I'm going to open and build at some point, unless they all of a sudden become worth a thousand dollars, at which point I will happily sell this. But I got such a good deal on it. I was, I was uh, texting Pat and I, I was giving him the, the deal. And then I was like, oh wait, no, I'm going to buy it. And I bought it right out from under him when he was about to buy it after I'd sent it to him to buy. So that was kind of funny. And uh, I also got the ATRT. I got another one sealed because I wanted to keep one sealed and I already have one sealed in my collection. So I bought another sealed one to use for when I want to do the comparison video between this and the 501st Battle Pack when it comes out uh, on August 1st. So quite a box there with two very cool sets from 2013. Oh wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh my. This was another really good eBay deal in my opinion. I think this was the cheapest one of these had sold for like that you could find in the history of, of sales recently. And they very conveniently included a garbage bag so that I can clean up my mess after this. That was actually very nice of them. Much larger box than I had previously thought this was. And inside of this box are actually the boxes of the two sets. So that may be why I could probably, there's probably some empty space here above R2D2 or something with C3PO being larger. Another very large and heavy box here. I think this one is actually a private sale. So this one's not from eBay or anything. This is from Charm City Brick and he offered me a deal I could not refuse on this set. I had to buy it. And this is a set that I should have bought when it was out in 2014 and 2015, and I don't know why I didn't. There are just sets that I passed on during that time that I will never be able to explain. And it is the 2014, summer 2014, Imperial Star Destroyer. Set that was 130 bucks. I think I paid somewhere around like 250 for it. Again, I'll have that on screen. And uh, yeah, very awesome set to finally have in the collection. One that, you know, a lot of people want me to do comparison with the old one. And now that I have the new one, uh, I can do that. Although I might buy a new version of the old one because my old one is in really bad shape. It's one of the like Star Wars sets that I've owned the longest. Like I've owned it since it's like release day in 2006. So it's in pretty rough shape after 15 years. And we have a couple more here. Another one from, actually, I think this one's going to be from a seller that uh, we opened a box from earlier. If you remember that double taped together box, this should be another set uh, of that seller. This is one that, uh, it's a real nostalgic set for myself, first off. It is one that I needed a new version of. My old one was really dusty and old, and when I eventually get glass shelves to display things like this, I'll open and build it, and then it will be displayed there and never get dusty, and that's kind of the goal with something like this. But yeah, 7666 Hoth Rebel Base. Very, very cool set from summer 2007. One that I'm very happy to have again in the collection in a very complete form, obviously being brand new. And I think there's some slight chance I could get a gold C-3PO in here. So I'll definitely remember when I uh, eventually get around to opening this to film that just in case, because it would be pretty cool if I get a gold C-3PO out of this. Couple sets left and I know what they are because, well, there's only two left. So. And while the box is not in perfect tip-top shape, it was the cheapest one I could find at the time. And with rumors swirling around of a possible return this summer in one form or another, I bought Diagon Alley. So this one's going towards that Harry Potter collection, obviously, that I one day hope to complete. Diagon Alley from 2010 here, I want to say. And it originally cost 250 so I paid quite a bit more than that, obviously. But very nice set to add, and I'll be building and reviewing this at some point this summer, probably, in preparation for that set, which I think will release at some point, like this fall, or it could release this summer, I don't know. But as soon as I find out more about that, I'll be kicking my butt into gear with this one, but it's ready. And that brings us to the final box. Another one that was just too cheap for me to pass on as far as like compared to other uh, of the same set being sold. And I will say, I used to own this set. I reviewed this set actually back in like 2009 on my old YouTube channel. It was a really bad review, but it's one that uh, I'm, I don't know why I sold it. It's another one of those, you know, sold it back in the day to buy something else probably. And uh, now it's back. TIE Fighter Collection. 
beautiful set. And interestingly enough, when it came out in 2004, it cost 70 bucks. By comparison, the most recent TIE Fighters on their own cost $70. So kind of crazy how far things have come. Obviously, the designs of these TIE Fighters do not compare to that inflation and new thing. You know, there's a lot that goes into these sets now, but still pretty crazy to think about that this was 70 bucks back in the day and very awesome set, one that I have a lot of fond memories of. Got it for Christmas one year, I think, 2005 probably. So yeah, then I sold it like an idiot. So that is everything in the haul there. It is quite a bit. I'll put the total amount spent on screen. And again, thank you, Mike, for the very cool Star Wars uh, books and poly bags there. And of course, the toilet paper that couldn't really find a spot for here in the front. So yeah, I, uh, wow, this is a lot of stuff. And this is, this is it. This is the last stuff I'm buying for a while. Um, probably till I move out, I won't have another haul even close to this. I, I am out of space in a way that I cannot comprehend. Like, it's no longer a I'm out of space, ha ha ha, because I've been out of space, literally for two years, I've been out of space, and every time I've been able to put a band-aid on it, there's no more band-aids, I'm out of band-aids, and you can't buy anymore, because they're not for sale anymore, right, like, I don't have the space to expand to have more space to run out of, I am out of space, and that is a reality I need to uh, begin to accept and actually work within, and like I said, some of this stuff you may not see a video on the channel for years to come. Some of the stuff you may have already seen a video for. But I am very pumped about some of this stuff. It's really cool. Got some really good deals, more importantly. And a lot of this goes really good towards the uh, goal of having every LEGO Star Wars set ever at some point here in the not-so-distant future. So thank you guys for watching this epic haul video. And uh, thank you as well for making this possible. I mean, without YouTube and how great it's been and all you guys watching the videos, I mean, this kind of stuff wouldn't be possible for me. Although, then again, maybe if YouTube wasn't a thing, I would have won the lottery by now. But... Who's to say? You know, just hypotheticals. Thank you guys for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed the uh, insane unboxing video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Mega Hall 2020, out.